What is up guys, hope you're all well and doing good. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna be answering all of your university assumptions because you guys are always asking me, Luke, what is university really like? So I thought I'd make this video for everyone interested in uni life. But just before we get into the video, I've got a little message for all the students watching about the 2021 census. The information that students give in the census helps to inform funding decisions that impact the student community and the student experience, such as student transport, and student healthcare, and it's just really important that we all take it. Some of you may know that Census Day was on the 21st of March, but don't worry, you can still fill it out and it's super easy to do. To complete it, all you need to do is log on to the website, which I'll link in the description down below, and then you'll get a code texted to you, which you can use to start the survey. It only takes 10 minutes to do, and you just gotta follow the instructions, but make sure to use your university address. All right, on to the video. All right, first up, uh, you get loads of work at university. I think it really depends on what course you do. Like, I mean, mine's pretty easy, realistically. Like, from what I've seen other people get, um, so I do business management and marketing, which is, I mean, it's not easy, but it's the workload is quite manageable, and you still have time for everything else. Um, I know people at places like Oxford and Cambridge who get rinsed with work and essays like all the time. But obviously, that's just a completely different like culture and stuff. Um, like everyone who goes there is like work motivated like to the max. Um, in terms of courses though, like in all universities, I think obviously the hard ones you can get a lot more work like maths and chemistry. Like, I know people do that who have a lot of work to do. So it depends. If you're quite uh, studious, you'll be fine. Is it true that nobody gets up until 3 p.m.? That's from my dad. Thanks dad. I have had my occasion. Don't say I'm proud of it. Thanks dad for calling me out on that. Okay, next one. Parties every night. Um, I've actually, I could actually, I don't even have to tell you this one. Just, I don't know if you can hear this, but listen to this. That is a lot of beer on my slippers. And I think that answers the question. <laughs> the kitchen is always super messy. Yeah, to be fair, I've looked out a little bit because my housemates are pretty good at cleaning the kitchen. Like, don't get me wrong, like, it'll get messy, but we all do put a little bit of a shift in, I think. And honestly, I've got to give credit to my housemates, they'll love this when they watch this. Sometimes, after it's horrible, I'll come down the next morning and it's beautiful. So, <laughs> how many times that's my responsibility? But, yes, I think generally I've seen some messy kitchens. Thankfully ours is not too bad, but yeah, definitely messy kitchens. I don't even know what this one means. You're a cheap student. Um, I think the definition of student is cheap. Like, Aldi is my saviour, so I suppose yeah. Have you got a year in industry placement? I think I mentioned this on my Instagram one time. Um, so, no, so far. I know a lot of people, so basically on my course especially, and I, there's some certain courses where it's very much encouraged to do a year in industry, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically after your second year, which is I'm in now, you get the opportunity to go and work for a company for a year. You're still part of the university when you do it, but it's like really good work experience, and like a lot of people say you come back into the third year with like, a new mojo about you because you've seen the working world and you want to smash uni. I'm not going to say where it is in case I don't get it, which is quite likely, but I have had an interview with one that I would be so happy to get, like like dream job-esque type thing. And it was a digital interview where you had to do like an interview to a robot, which was really weird. You have a minute to prepare and then a minute to answer and it's just very, very... Because if you, if you mess up, you can't edit it out, or you can't take it again, it, that's it. So it's a bit of a weird one, but hopefully I get it. I'll let you guys know, obviously, but I've not got one so far. And good luck to everyone trying to get them, because it's really hard. You don't enjoy uni because of the pandemic, and I'm gonna pair this up with this one next to it. How has university changed due to the pandemic? Okay, so, as a whole, university during the pandemic has been subpar compared to university normally. Like, university is great, I love university, don't get me wrong. But during the pandemic and like your online university, you don't get to go into uni and see your mates and stuff. You're just less motivated because realistically you can just wake up and roll over and watch a half watch a lecture. 
and so it's just yeah it's not as great like i like the big lecture halls like i like the nice buildings and stuff like it's one of the reasons the shows leads and many universities are really pretty so yeah it's not great and obviously you can't see your mates and go to parties and stuff like that as much so yeah it's not great freshers week is overrated um Mm, I don't know. If you don't know what Freshers' Week is, it's basically the, like the first week you go into university when you're a first year. I mean, for me, it was seven nights of every single night going out, which sounds great, fun, which it was. But I actually, I actually got tonsillitis at the end of it. Like your body gets so run down, and Freshers' flu, uh, which is a well-known term, is the most true thing I've ever heard because you're so run down from the late nights and just constantly going out and you will catch something and yeah I got tonsillitis so that part of it was horrible and that's why I'd say it's overrated but the actual time you're, you're actually in the club on the night or in the pub or whatever it's great but the aftermath is a bit rough so it depends how you look at it not uni related but are you going to any festivals this year also love the vids thank you uh, and yes um, I, we had a bit of a risky one a few of my friends uh, like last year now we banked on Covid being done by July um, so we've got tickets to Longitude which is in Dublin which is my first overseas it's not very far but overseas uh, festival and it looks insane like I can't wait to hopefully go obviously seeing how the pandemic goes <laughs> so <laughs> This barber page that I follow on Instagram has sent in a submission. They've said, need a fresh trim, mate. I know, it is incredibly long, like, ridiculous. I don't even know what to do with it anymore. But obviously, the pandemic's around, COVID's knocking on doors, and I've not been able to get a trim. Is it hard to find a house in second year? Uh, again, definitely depends on where you are. From um, people I know, like, from other universities, like Mates From Home and stuff, they've all got houses fine and that. From a lease perspective, what I know is you've got to get in there early. When I was on house tours with, with my housemates now, um, we looked at, at some grotty, grotty places, like, no, like really bad, like rats, bud. Obviously, they're going to go last, but if you get in there early enough at a decent time, then you'll, you'll get somewhere nice for like the same price as a grotty place. So, my advice is just get in there fast. University is harder than A levels. Honestly, no. It's it's you know for me anyway. I might maybe it's just me, but I find university a lot lot easier than A levels. It is different. University is a lot more independent, so you don't you have to do a lot more yourself. But work difficulty, I think for me anyway in my course, I just can't speak for like maths and stuff like that. It's going to be obviously a lot harder, I assume anyway. Um, but for me anyway, it's just essay writing, which you learn in A level. Um, which if you don't know what A-level is, it's like the thing you do after high school in the UK. Um, but for me, yeah, I think university is easier. It is different, you're more independent, which is harder than A-levels. You can go and actually teach in A-levels and stuff, but I think A-levels is a lot harder, from what I've seen anyway. Alright, last question. After going to uni, you lose touch with all your school friends. From what I've seen, from the people I know at university, they all seem to have their own uni mates. Like a lot of, um, like in first year and stuff, I know a lot of people brought up their mates from different universities a lot. So that obviously implies that they're still friends with them. Um, and for me, I've been really lucky with mates. Like I've got a good group of mates that I know will be mates for life. And I, I don't think there's any, um, unfortunately sometimes, <laughs> any getting rid of them. But um, yeah, no, I think generally people do stay in touch with their friends. Obviously, there's like in high school and stuff and college, um, you'll know a lot of people and you won't stay friends with every single one. It's just not gonna happen. But you, I think you do stay friends with like all your best mates and stuff. Uh, from what I've seen and from what I can tell from other people that I know. So yeah, I don't. I wouldn't worry about that. As long as obviously you put in the effort and make sure you see them when you go back home and stuff and keep messaging while you're at uni, send them your funny memes. Oh God, I'm such a granddad. But yeah, I think generally you, you do stay in touch with your mates, so don't worry about that. All right then guys, thank you for watching that video. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, I'll be completely honest, I'm running out of YouTube video ideas, which is not great. Um, so. If you guys can send me some video ideas that I can do during a pandemic, which has been the issue, because I can't film videos with mates realistically or anything like that, um, then let me know, because I want to do some more videos and uh, hopefully you guys want to see them. So yeah, let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate that, because I am struggling. Um, 
And yeah, uh, what's it say? Oh yeah, make sure you go and check out the, the census survey in the uh, script down below. Make sure you do it, it is generally important if you're a student and it affects all of us. So yeah, go and fill that out. And thank you guys for watching. Smash the like button, comment down below some video ideas for me and if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe, turn post notifications on, and I'll see you all in the next one.